Let's do the NCR one. It's real nothing quick. but a sh It doesn't sound like you're too fond of them. On the contrary, they are my biggest clients. Their society represents a perfect breeding ground for information trading. Whether it's information against other organizations and tribes, corporate espionage, or politicians looking for dirt on each other. They rely on my services more than they care to admit. But time necessitates change. How can they hope to prosper if they take the path that led so many nations to their doom time and time again? History teaches valuable lessons, if you care to listen. No. If the NCR is to have a future, they must let go of the past. They must become the future, Brotherhood of Steel. A group of paranoid fanatics, highly predictable given their obsession with pre-war technology. They hoard it for themselves, believing the others are unworthy of their technology. Not difficult to see the logic behind that, considering most of the population are, in essence, uneducated wildmen. However, that line of thought is also what led to their conflict with the NCR. It reduced them to what they are today, a fraction of what they once were. The truly sad part is not even the Brotherhood knows how to use that technology to its full potential. They could have achieved so much, Instead, they're fading away, cowering in their bunkers, while their numbers slowly but surely decline. It's the price they pay for their lack of vision. But the Mojave chapter isn't the only one. There are others, scattered around throughout the continent. Some faring better than others. Some dressed up as Macklemore. What's the deal with the three families? What's the deal with Peanuts? They are the result of House efforts to maintain control over Vegas after the NCR's arrival. Each of them different, and yet the same. Animals pretending to be men thriving in this cesspool of decadence. However, they are of great use to me. Without them, the stream of information in this area and the demand for it would undoubtedly be greatly diminished. After all, it's primarily the conflict of interest that creates the need for information trading. With the families around, there is no shortage of such conflicts. What about the Raycons, hmm? They are warriors by nature. Once a legendary tribe, they have been brought to their knees by the NCR and the Vegas families. These days they are a little more than ordinary raiders. Can bushes and addicts at the same time rely mostly on the drug trade for survival. Still, one can't help but admire their perseverance. Perhaps it's the rage, the dream of one day exacting vengeance on those who wronged them, that keeps them going. Well, Gramps, it was great talking to you. Got other questions? I'm listening. Uh, I got a, I got some laundry I gotta pick up. Got, I got a lunch date. One more thing. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm telling you all this. Understandable. After all, I don't normally make a habit of revealing myself to strangers. Well, you will get arrested. The truth is, I intended to have you eliminated once you've completed the job. But I've been truly impressed. By your rather unique set of skills. It therefore occurred to me that you could be a very efficient instrument of my will. And because of that, I thought you should know the truth. I'm an anamorph. You want me to come work for you, Gramps? I could certainly use someone with your expertise. But keep one thing in mind. If you decline my offer, you will be considered a security risk. A liability. And I will have no choice but to have every faction, every man and woman on the West Coast hunt you down. Well, it looks like I'm moving. Is that a threat, you little bitch? What if I tell people what I know? In that case, I'm looking forward to doing business with you again, big old Gramps boy. Uh, and what if I tell people what I know? And what do you really know? Still, that would be the end of you. 
have no illusions about it. But I don't want our business relationship to begin on such a negative note. Why succumb to hostility if we can both profit from this arrangement? We are smarter than that, aren't we? You're right. Consider me at your disposal. Not interested. Uh, oh, shit. You have the oh, opportunity fuck. to help no, I didn't keep mean. this fragile world in balance. <laughs> yes, sometimes that means resorting shit, to what? questionable means. But the intel I provide can also save lives. Keep people safe. Bring criminals to justice. Does that sound like dirty work to you? Alright, you made your point. I'll work. Glad to see you've come to your senses. Now to the matter at hand. I have another problem I need resolved. It seems one of my informants in the old murders has become overly greedy. He demands more money. Or he will stop providing the information. I would have his handler deal with him, but unfortunately he's otherwise occupied at the moment. That's where you come in. I need you to resolve this situation any way you see fit. Preferably one that doesn't require me to find him a replacement. I'll throw him the best birthday ever. Is he threatening to expose you? He has no idea he's working for me. His handler is the only one who had direct contact with him. Even if he knew, he could hardly do it without implicating himself in the process. And trust me, the old murders don't take kindly to betrayal. Why don't you just give him more money, dickhead? He's being paid more than he's worth as it is. Besides, I can't have my employees giving me ultimatums. That's no way to run a business. You can always find a replacement. I could. But your murders have shown to be annoyingly loyal. I prefer to save myself the trouble of finding another rotten apple if possible. That's why I urge you to take a diplomatic approach. How do I convince him to back down? Take this. It's evidence of his other activities that the murders wouldn't tolerate. It should give you some leverage. Alright, I'll get it done. Splendid. The informant's name is Frank. You'll need to hear this passphrase to know you're one of my agents. I miss New Reno. The true den of vice. Don't forget it. In case he refuses to listen to reason, put him out of his misery. I can't have loose ends lying around. But make sure it looks like an accident. I don't want people looking into his death too closely. Any suggestions? Wait for him to go to sleep. Sneak into his room and inject him with this. It's an enhanced jet. It will appear as if he's overdosed. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. Also, I need you to pay a visit to the NCR Embassy while you're out there. Go to the second bathroom. Retrieve the folder behind the toilet and replace it with this one. Oh, gross. I have to touch a toilet? What's in it? Nothing that concerns you. So do not open either folder. I'll know if you do. Is it a bomb? That it's a bomb. Alright, what do we got? Jeez, axe man. Okay. Go to NCR and Embassy, reason with more is informant. Cool. Let's do, it. Let's do more, uh, let's do the reasoning one first. Alright, so we're here. Uh, we also switched our armors as well, so now we're wearing the, uh, the Breach armor. By good old Black Soul. Um, I guess he's in the suites, I would imagine. Alright. So, talk him out of it. Good. Discuss it. I'm probably in the wrong. Am I? Looks like we're getting two elevator notices. Yeah, yes we are. I guess he is in Brimstone. Nope. I'm gonna send you. Back. Oh, whoa, whoa, dude! I'm fucking sorry. Jesus Christ. Well, let's see if uh, everyone else in the casino hates us now. Probably. Is he on the main level? No, he's over here. Okay. Alright, well, hopefully, 
people don't start shooting us when we get in here. Because I accidentally touched the door. Is he just sleeping? <laughs> hey. Frank. Uh, let's talk to Frank. I like that he's sleeping. That's pretty cool. Get out of my way, asshole. Hey, Frank, go fuck yourself. I uh, miss New Reno, the true den of vice. Relax, I know you're the one looking, leaking intel. I'm here to talk to you about your request. How about you lose the attitude? I miss New Reno, the true den of vice. Keep your voice down. Where's Henry? I want to talk to him. Uh, the only thing you're going to be talking to is my karate chops. Henry's not available right now. You want to talk about him or do you want to talk business? Not important. I'm here. Take it or leave it. You want to talk about him or do you want to talk business? Yeah, fine. Now, where are my caps? Listen. You're already getting paid too much. Take it or someone else will. You're not worth the extra caps. Asking for more could be detrimental to your health. Um. You're getting paid too much, buddy. Bullshit. Nobody else around here ain't gonna help you. No one who knows what I know, anyway. That's the risk we're willing to take. We can't give in to such demands. You must know that. Good thing I have this piece of paper, then. Tells an interesting story about you. That's the risk we're gonna take, little Frankie Banks. All right, all right, you win. That's right, now go to sleep, you little bitch. Ooh, mm. we're gonna watch you sleep. We're gonna piss on your pillows. Oh, it's gonna be great. Let's get out of here. Ooh, we show Frank what's going on. Where's Axe Man? Did he not come through? All right. Now we go to the um, totally. Definitely 100% destroyed NCR Embassy because the radios and red roaches took over and that place isn't here anymore. It's at another location. So that's where we're going now. It's totally not here. So they moved it because the radios and red roaches took it over. All right, we're here at the totally not on the strip NCR Embassy. Um, I was looking to see if we could open up the folder but I can't seem to find it. I dropped all of our miscellaneous stuff thinking it would be like, oh, this is a quest item. You can't drop this. But it doesn't seem to be here. And, uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, I can't read it anyhow. Okay. Durr. Man. Ooh, Moriarty's file. Let's see if we can read that one. Probably not. Man. Lame. Supposed to put this. I forgot what we were doing here. What the heck are we doing here? Oh. Go to the bathroom and replace the folders. Nope, don't drink out of it. Oh. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Open the folder to see their content. Ooh! Each folder contains encrypted files. Without the proper decryption key, there is no way for you to decipher them. You close the folder and place them as destructed. Man. Now I'm going to get killed. All right, time to reload, everyone. Because <laughs> he's probably going to be like, what the hell, dude? I, I know what was going on. You idiot. All right, we'll meet you back at Moriarty's. Oh, I see they got a radio. Mr. Moriarty, I totally did not look at those folders in another save game. How are you? Has everything been dealt with? Oh, those folders of the macaroni pictures have been put there. Frank agreed to your terms. Oh, and here's the file. Excellent. I believe you deserve a little bonus for resolving the situation with Frank peacefully. Now, are you ready to discuss your next assignment? And don't worry. Your talents will not be wasted on such trivial tasks again. Now that I know you're willing to follow instructions to the letter, I can entrust you with something much more important. Be careful not to betray that trust. Yeah, I'm imagining if he, uh... I'm imagining, like, if I touch the file, he'll be like, Well, because of that, I'm sorry. And then I'm gonna have to kill you. What's the assignment? There is an organization on the East Coast. 
known for some of the greatest scientific advances of the post-war era. They've achieved wonders over the years. Their most notable creations are undeniably synthetic humans, also known as synths or androids. Years ago, the members of this organization decided that their secrets and their knowledge are too valuable to be preserved in only one location. They needed an alternate storage, a backup if you will. They eventually stored the information in one of their androids. A unique model with a unique purpose. I think I know where this is going. You, may, you want me to make love to it. Eventually. One of the scientists decided to grow a conscience. He liberated the android and joined it in its escape. The organization buried the incident. And they have been firmly denying the android's very existence ever since. But I've known the truth for a long time. And now? Now I finally know its location as well. How'd you track it down? Do you remember the coin you gave me as proof of Wade's death? Well, I have a little confession to make. It's not a coin. It's a highly sophisticated data storage device. A former property of the same man. Who set the android free? It helped me locate the android. And it will soon allow me to unlock the secrets hidden inside the machine. So that's the real reason you sent me after Wade. It's one of the reasons. Don't think that makes the other reasons you were given any less real. He truly was a sadistic madman. And a serious threat to my business. Why didn't you tell me the truth about the coin from the start? If you had been aware of its true significance, it would have given you a considerable leverage over me. Perhaps you would have even felt the need to negotiate the terms of our contract. Obviously, I had no intention of allowing that to happen. However, this time I have no choice. No lie I can devise to ensure your compliance. But our business relationship has evolved since then, does it not? It is true, I didn't open those folders in a different safe game. Why did Wade have the coin in the first place? It was a time when Wade was someone I could depend on. In fact, he was the only trustworthy person I've ever had in my life. I chose to entrust him with the device until I found a way to extract the information. And by the time that finally happened, everything had already changed between us. Interestingly enough, he never knew the true purpose of the coin either. It held an entirely different meaning for him. A meaning I most certainly don't intend to discuss with you. What will you do with the module? What do you think? I'm an information broker. The module is said to contain a wide array of data, which means a wide array of customers. I expect it to be bringing me profit for years to come. If I can play my cards right, it is something that must be used wisely. Selling the right bits of data and leaking the right misinformation to the right people at the right time. I like how he says data. Um, how does leaking misinformation bring you profit? Oh, come on, me. Don't be so thick. It's akin to planting a seed. A seed that will, in time, bear fruit in form of greater demand. Have weapons blueprints? Instigate conflict, and their value increases exponentially. Found a cure? Spread the disease, or at least the fear of it. Supply and demand, courier. It's the oldest dance in the world. And in my line of work, I'm the one who controls both. I'm the one who knocks on the robot's door. I don't want to help you do all that. It seems boring. What do you want? What do I need to know about this android? As I said, it's a completely unique model. An intermediary form between the last two generations of androids. Its physical appearance resembles that of all the models. But it's far more intelligent than them. In some ways, even more intelligent than humans. Well, certain humans. But at the end of the day, it's still a machine. It can be reprogrammed, repurposed, and of course destroyed. That last one might be challenging, though. A learning machine. My CPU is a neural net processor. A learning computer. 
<laughs> Just tell me where it is, I'll take care of it, Gramps. In a cave to the east. The information is stored in the data module inside the android's head. A sad attempt to make it appear more human, no doubt. And once again, I must encourage you to try and resolve this situation verbally. But, in case you're forced to resort to violence, avoid damaging the head at all costs. I cannot stress that enough. The importance of keeping the module intact. Is it a girl or a boy? Got it. Good. Do try and get it done as soon as possible. Time is one of the few luxuries I cannot afford. I have a couple questions. Of course you do. Uh, have you ever done with uh, business, Mr. House? Do you have any role in the war? Is Victor Moriarty I should get uh, done business with House? On multiple occasions. Robert House. A man out of his time. He thinks he can run the show through a bunch of machines. They may be useful for maintaining order in the streets, but they can't go behind the locked doors. That's where all the deals and plans are made. Where the fates of entire countries are decided. In a world of locked rooms, the man with the key is king. And I've been sitting on that throne for a long time. And do you know what the key is? Information. Obviously. But I don't think you fully realize what a fragile world we live in. One well-placed information can change everything overnight. Start or end a war. Save or end lives. Give rise to a government or bring one down. The possibilities are endless. I know all there is to know about everyone and everything that matters. House. While he is surprisingly resourceful for someone who never leaves that tower, he is also oblivious to what truly goes on in his own backyard. However, he is a useful tool in keeping the balance between the factions in this area. But his vision is pathetically limited to one city. He wants to go the to space. The world is a lot bigger than that, even if Vegas is its crown jewel. You know he wants to go to space, right? You really like hearing yourself talk, don't you? You are the one making the inquiries and insisting on these digressions. This is true. Perhaps you would like me to limit my responses to no more than a couple of short sentences at a time, like you do. Well, forgive me, but I happen to be a little more eloquent than that. If this bothers you, I'll gladly restrict our conversations to the topics of business at hand. Yeah, you're right. This is all my fault. Any role in the war between NCR and Legion? I took no part in starting it, if that's what you're asking. This war was always inevitable. You see, hidden within the human subconscious lies an insatiable desire for conflict. Peace can never last. The Legion knows that they can only survive by conquest, so they will continue to conquer for as long as they exist. And that happens to be extremely beneficial for me. After all, war is profitable. Always has been. And what outcome are you hoping for? Hope is for those who can influence the outcome. I have access to information on both parties that could easily tip the scales of this war in favor of the highest bidder. But I won't allow this war to end prematurely by giving any of them any significant advantage. No. I prefer to maximize my profit by forcing them to keep coming. Keep begging for more. Oh, begging. Begging for more. Oh, that's actually pretty smart, Gramps. I'm glad you see it my way. Many others would condemn me for it, but they don't realize their welfare is an inevitable side effect of my activity. In order to remain in business, I have to use the information at my disposal to prevent the balance of power from being disrupted. Whether they realize it or not, the world needs people like me. Someone to maintain that balance. Alright, I don't know if we can ask these questions later, so I'm just going to go through them. What's your opinion on the current situation? It's volatile. I thought I had a fairly accurate idea of how the situation would develop. But then a new variable appeared. A variable that changed all the other variables, forcing me to reassess the entire situation. You that variable. Me? You found yourself right in the middle of this war. 
and you work fast, at times faster than my sources manage to inform me. I commend you for that. Now the question arises, are you a useful asset or dangerous liability? Perhaps both. Mm -hmm. I've yet to decide. It's both. What do you think? Who do you think I should side with? What, you can't think for yourself? No. But since you asked, my answer is this. Nobody. The main rule of the game is, trust no one, exploit everyone. That's the only advice I can give you. More precisely, the only advice I'm willing to give you. Well, howdy. I'm listening. Is it your real name? It is today. <laughs> Next Friday is going to be another goofy name. Why the secrecy? With your influence and resources, you could have some real political power. But I am already in control. In a manner of speaking. I can influence the world leaders and lead them to the desired conclusions just by feeding the proper information. Yes. I have the power to control not only their actions, but their thoughts as well. Alright, now you're bullshitting me. Sometimes that's the only thing keeping those short-sighted imbeciles from destroying themselves. So tell me, what do I stand to gain by revealing myself to the world? I would only be painting a target on my back. We're gonna... Success breeds enemies. I'd expect you to know that by now. I'm gonna murder you later. You're a sociopath, but I guess you're what they call necessary evils. I'd probably be doing everyone a favor if I ended you right now. Interesting, maybe I should just kill you and take your place. Hmm. No. Necessary evil. Necessary evil. I find that to be an extremely disparaging term. Never refrain from fully endorsing something you know is indispensable, just to try and preserve the moral high ground. It's hypocrisy you don't need, but at least you're reasonable enough to see the necessity of what I do. Yes, you and I, we are able to see the big picture, not just the bits and pieces that don't matter in the long run. That's why people like us get to shape the course of history while others merely witness it. Aren't you worried I've seen your face and surprised someone like you didn't take the penthouse suite? Your face. You've seen one face, but this isn't the face I was born with. And it's hardly the face I'll die with. So no, I am not worried. And penthouse suite, but it's because you don't want to be a big target again. I prefer not to attract unnecessary attention. Every time that penthouse is reserved, the entire strip is automatically alerted to the presence of a potential high roller player. It would be foolish of me to advertise myself like that just for the sake of superfluous luxury. I think the low profile went out the window with the bodyguards. My men are professionals, and they are instructed to keep their weapons concealed once they leave this room. How come they're allowed to carry in here? You must really trust them to let them this close. Trust has little to do with it. They've all been carefully selected. Highly capable individuals. But each of them neck deep in debts and with hungry mouths to feed. Their debts have been paid. And as long as they do their jobs properly, their families are well taken care of. Alright. How come they're allowed... Uh, what if I, they decide to tell someone about you? They'll be dead. That's not likely to happen. I made it very clear that if they do something unwise, I can no longer guarantee anyone's safety. How come they're allowed to carry weapons in here? For the right sum of money, they would let me bring my entire army, if I so desired. Even safety comes second to profit. Alright. I'm going. I'll be waiting. I love you, I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting for you in the future. All right. Yeah, Mori already could have his own. Uh, he could be his own companion. I've heard that elite He's units got so are much to say. To I can only imagine like the voice actor. Beg your pardon, but could I try? Um. All oh, right. My bad. <laughs> yeah. 
I cheated to get in here. I was like, wait a minute, why is he asking me? Um, what the heck was I going to say? Oh yeah, I'm just imagining what the amount of lines like the voice actor got. Maybe the voice actor is the mod author. Hades Cave. I completely forgot what you're doing, but it's the synth. up a little bit with some shoot. Santatron, you don't do a damn thing. You're the worst companion ever. 